How are you doing? It's Alos Productions bringing you another episode of Nerd Chatting, and today we're going to talk about why Thanos is stronger in Endgame than he is in Infinity War. Now, before we get started, this is obviously going to contain spoilers, so if you have not seen Endgame, feel free to click this on your watch later list, or just click away from it for now and come back later after you have watched it, or if you just don't care about spoilers, then watch away. Wow, you're, you're, you're really going to stay, even after I said the spoiler thing. You haven't seen it. You, you haven't even seen it. All right, man, don't get mad at me whenever I spoil the movie for you, okay? Also, when I'm referencing the endgame Thanos, I'm not talking about the Thanos that they fight at the beginning of endgame that they easily beat. I'm talking about the one they fight at the end of the movie, just so you guys understand that going forward as I'm discussing these things. Number one, Thanos' armor. If you notice in endgame, he is wearing his entire armor or the majority of the armor for every single fight he gets in in endgame. And while in Infinity War, he only wears it at the very beginning of the movie, and then other than that, he's almost completely exposed. Well, I'm not saying this is the number one reason he's stronger. It 100% is giving him a small extra, you know, layer of protection for every attack that goes his way. Number two, his weapon. If you notice in Endgame, he has a double-bladed sword. Now, I'm going to pause for one second. I'm not 100% sure what this sword is made of. It has a name, who created it, anything like that. So if somebody does know that, I would really appreciate if you leave a comment below and let me know a little bit more information that I wasn't aware of. Like I said, I'm not one of those guys who does movie reviews and, and uh, talks about comic stuff that acts like he knows everything. I'm willing to admit when I don't, and this would be one of those circumstances. So going back to it, in Endgame, Thanos has this double-bladed sword that he uses as his weapon for almost every portion of the fight in, uh, in Endgame, opposed to Infinity War, the only weapon Thanos has is his fists and the Infinity Gauntlet. And I know you're saying, wait, the Infinity Gauntlet's way stronger than the, this sword thing that he has more than likely. And while I'm agreeing with you, I will get to that in a little bit. And this double-bladed sword isn't just an offensive weapon. It was able to deflect uh, a fully charged Iron Man from Thor lightening him up every single blast from that. And then it was able to, in addition to that, pick apart the strongest metal on Earth, the only vibranium Captain America shield, like it was butter, just picked it apart in pieces. All right, you're still here. I haven't lost you yet because... These two factors are definitely not the only reason why Thanos is stronger in Endgame. So let me get to number three, the final reason and the most important reason why I believe Thanos is stronger in Endgame than he is with a fully decked out Infinity Gauntlet in Infinity War. Number three, Thanos wants to fight and end game. So in Infinity War, Thanos' objective is to get the stones. If nobody's guarding the stone, he's just going to take the stone. If somebody is, he's going to find a way to get it. If you notice, almost every single person he fights in Infinity War, his, uh, his goal is to just get them out of the way so he can get what he wants. He can get the next stone, he can get the next thing. It's never about killing. If it was, he could have killed multiple Avengers leading up to that. His goal is, I just want to balance the universe. In his mind, balance the universe, make the snap happen, and go from there. He's never was about, I need to fight to the death, I need to kill all these people. In fact, if you notice in Infinity War, he doesn't even say anything driven about, I'm going to wipe out the Avengers, you guys are going to die, I'm done with you guys, nothing like that. He's only just trying to get the stones. So while having all the stones makes him powerful, he's not there to fight them, really. He's just there to collect the stones. And in Endgame, while yes, he still does want that Infinity Gauntlet 100%, this is the Thanos that's on his conquer quest to take down worlds, to take down planets. He sees the future and he thinks he is the inevitable. It's going to happen no matter what. And he comes there ready to kill the Avengers. He's ready to fight them to the death. He's ready to end them. He realizes while he sees in the future that he beats them and now they're trying to stop him again. And he is fed up with it. He wants to get rid of them completely. He comes there looking for blood and ready to wipe them out. I, he even says a line that... Basically, once he's done fighting them, he's going to reduce this and their galaxy to an atom, like, or to the last atom, something to that effect, like, basically completely wipe out everything that exists about Earth when it's all said and done. So when you get a Thanos that's like that, ready to fight to the death with everything I'd already said, he's going to come off more powerful. Now, granted, if in Infinity War, his goal was to kill the Avengers and collect the Infinity Stones, I believe he would have been more powerful as a whole. But ultimately, he was using the stones just to get people out of his way in Infinity War, not to kill them, just to more or less take them out of commission. He didn't, in fact, the only Avenger he even tries to completely kill what it seemed like was Tony Stark. And I think that was just, he was just tired of fighting them. It didn't seem like he was like, I'm going to kill you. I'm so tired of you guys. He never said anything out of rage. But in Endgame, Thanos is 100% trying to kill the Avengers during the entire fight. He brings his army. He has his army blast down stuff upon people. His goal there is to kill the Avengers completely. And that is what makes Thanos stronger in Endgame than he was in Infinity War. 
What do you think? Do you think he was stronger? Do you have a debate on this? I always love to see when people have logical debates that want to leave in the comments. I'm all about it. Did you like this episode of Nerd Chatting? What would you like to hear me talk about next on the next episode? Please, 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 if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit a like. Don't forget to comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know when I post new videos. All right, that's everything. I'll see you next time.